Hi guys, it's Kat 3 d here, and I am playing squads with my good friend Infamous Candy, Corathon, and my sister from another Mr. Alsatia. So, alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get some wool, and get a sword, and I'm gonna go out and try to take a base. That was so scary. I'm not even kidding. Just about passed out. <laughs> that was so scary. All right, so I went ahead and put those upgrades in the chest. I know I was really super quiet, but I was trying to focus. But yeah, so I went ahead and put those upgrades in the chest because I felt like that was the most important thing. Even if I didn't take out that base, whenever I got back to this base, I could go ahead and get some armor, get the tools I need, and go ahead and get lots of wool so I could evade if I needed to, and then maybe get some material to um, block myself into the base if I needed to take it out that way. So. I really felt like the best course of action was to get those upgrades back to my base and then even if I died, no matter, I could regen and then uh, respawn and then I could actually go back for a second try. Okay, so right now I feel like I can go and clean up yellow. And then let's go this way. I'm going to try to clean up yellow. If there are any yellow players still at their base, then I can go ahead and do that. If not, I'm going to go ahead and snatch up this gold. Go over here. Wondering where they actually are. So I'm going to snatch up this gold again and maybe go ahead and upgrade my sword. And go ahead and get a couple more um, stacks of wool. And then all right I am gonna go ahead and head over to yellow base since that is the only base that is still active um, with players, but at least their treasure's gone. So let me figure out where this, okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and get a compass. Oh, no, GG. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and set us up to queue into the next game. So wars dash squads is the command. So slash Q space capitalize wars dash squads and then you get yourself into the queue for the next game and oh my favorite map i love it so yes i've told you guys before i love this map i know they hate it but i love it it's my favorite <laughs> okay so all right. 
right. Let's go ahead and go over here. I don't know why they have the grass like that. It just drives me crazy. I always feel like I can't sit here and jump bridge um, or run jump bridge because I will fall into the void and I really don't want to do that. So it drives me crazy that I can't sit here. Um, can I actually jump to this? Oh! <laughs> so I will come back with some blocks. That's why I left the diamonds there, just in case I couldn't. I don't know why I did that. Uh, just ignore that. <laughs> but I was smart enough to leave the diamonds. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go back over here. I'm going to pick up those diamonds. I'm going to put them back on the generator, and I'll tell you why. I don't want them to disappear. Oh, no. I just don't gave them. Really? Okay, well, guess what? Now I'm going to have to sit here and take out green because they took my diamonds. I sat here and... Oh, oh God. Oh, no. Why? Why did I stack three? Oh, man. So... I apparently decided that I was going to go a little extra and stack three blocks on top of each other and block myself. Ugh. Oh dear. What a mess. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and head over here again. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the diamonds. I'm already sitting here and regretting not just waiting for those and not wasting all my beautiful wool. Chasing a green that clearly did not, um, well, <laughs> did not need them because they weren't going to stay long, but they, they didn't know that at the time, but, um, they weren't really a threat. They just wanted the diamonds and I could have just waited for the diamonds and, uh, gotten our stuff upgraded and then we would all have a lot more, uh, to work with. So, um, it looks like one of our teammates, and I will talk to her, um, is bridging out and right in front of our base. And I don't like that specifically because if you bridge like that, somebody can just walk straight into your base and take out your treasure. And it's really hard to defend the front of it without sitting here to the side. So I can't see it. So you can't really... You see, I can't, um, oh, well, this one I can. She did it kind of this side, so, okay, forgiven. She actually did it masterfully. Um, I had to lose my stuff. I'm super sad about that. But, you know, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go ahead and get um, end stone. I'm going to go extra. I'm going to get a sword. I'm going to get maybe wood and some wool. And I guess I could have gotten tools. I acted like I didn't need tools, but yeah, I could have gotten tools. Um, Okay, so yes, there we go. Um, that's a very Ender the Defender kind of move, <laughs> but um, it's okay. All right, gonna go like this. I'm going to go ahead and put some, let's see, I'm gonna put some tools in here. I'm gonna kind of go uh, the way of Hendy HD, and that is live like I'm going to live. So wait, he says, I'm going to, I'm, hmm. how does he say it? I forget. But the gist of it, uh, kind of the essence of it is I'm going to go out and I'm going to play like I'm never going to die. So um, he gets everything he possibly needs and heads out. So he doesn't have to sit here and ever come back uh, for something else. 
Um, so he just goes ahead and goes out with everything, every single thing that you can possibly think of that he might need uh, to win is what he goes with. So I think that's really smart. Um, at first, I kind of reacted poorly to that. I'm like, no, I want to sit here and I want to go renegade and I want to like show up, show out uh, last rodeo and and just like throw down and uh, that doesn't work really well. I have a lot of friends and some amazing uh, <laughs> epic gamer friends who kind of do the same thing I do and then I see them do it and then I realize I do the same thing and then I'm like oh geez I probably shouldn't do that we basically like show up at a base after our our treasure is destroyed just to sit there and die uh it's not smart so um yeah so I I saw them and then I saw myself do the same thing and then I realized I should probably change tactics if I want to survive. And so I think um, for the most part, um, people like Karmic, Marlin, and Hindi have shown me that you need to run away and live to fight another day. And that was just not my, that's just not my personality at all. Um, so I had to kind of learn that and it works for them. You know, it actually works really well and they have a great success rate. So um, I definitely want to have a better success rate um, than I do. So I definitely need to learn from people who sit here and have great success rates um, like Karmic and Hindi for after treasure death success. Um, I used to die immediately, no joke. Whenever the treasure was destroyed, I would basically just die. So I'd either die instantly afterwards because I was sitting and fighting tooth and nail to save the, the treasure, or um, I would die falling off of <laughs> bridges or things like that, which is so ridiculous, but it's so true. Um, I would sit there and just worry about the most ridiculous things and... You really just can't do that. So um, you have to go and um, Karmic would sit there and he'd say, nope, nope, you don't need it. You don't need it. And so I always thought that was hilarious because I would sit there and try to save the base. And he's like, why? You don't need a treasure. You can win the game without a treasure. And I'm like, no, but then like if you die, then you die. And he's like, yeah, well, then don't die. And so I, I'm just like, okay, that's just interesting, like how you think that you're going to live forever. Um, but, you know, he does. He sits here and goes and gets the stuff he needs, and then he lives to win the game. And I just, uh, I had to learn that. I didn't have that in me at, at the very beginning. I sat there and uh, played like you just sit here and um, take revenge for those who took out your base. <laughs> I know that sounds so bad, but yeah. So I would have like somebody who just took out our base and we're chasing them down and then they turn around and kill us or we chase them into their base and then their whole team kills us. So um, does that tactic work sometimes? Sure. So, yeah, if your whole team shows up and shows out at the base of the people who killed your base, then, yeah, there's a chance that you could possibly win. But if you are without armor, if you are sitting there without a sword, if you just have blocks, or if you feel angry, I guess, and... Um, if you go over there with the mindset that you want to take revenge, chances are that you are <laughs> you're actually about to go to your death, honestly. Um, so it, it's pretty funny. Um, um, it is pretty funny for me to sit here and think. Um, you know, <sighs> I was like that for so long. 
And um, I had so many people sitting there saying um, my KD, which is kill death ratio, was so terrible. Well, I didn't really understand that, nor did I care to understand it. But now I kind of understand what they're talking about. And I, it's not, I mean, I 100% understand what they're talking about. I still don't really care about it. But what it emphasizes is how often um, you get killed versus how many kills you actually make. So, um, let me see. Chess. Um, so, I started realizing that people like Karmic and people like Hindi, they are sitting there and uh, surviving far past treasure death. And then you have something even more important, and that's, um, they're sitting here and, um, they're sitting here and coming up with a strategy to survive. And that was something also that I didn't fully understand, so I didn't even know how to survive outside the base, much less come up with a, a good strategy for me to do that. Um, so following people like Karmic around helped me understand what I needed to do to be able to survive after that treasure was taken. Um, so I feel like if I sit here and, um, okay, sorry, I'm focusing. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I feel like if I, if I want to sit here and, okay, so you guys saw this, it's still working, um, that technique works, so definitely utilize it. Um, but yeah, so it, it's it's a matter of who is actually sitting here surviving after treasure death and then how well you sit here and um, prepare. So your strategy matters. And I just thought that was so incredibly um, interesting that I never sat there and strategized because I really didn't have the experience so the knowledge to make up strateg strategies because I didn't know what all I could do. Um, following these players around, so once I died, going and actually following them around helped so much. So if you guys get a chance to spectate, um, spectate somebody that you feel has a good, um, a good rate of survival after treasure death and go ahead even at after the game so say if you're playing and you don't have any friends on or whatever and you're playing by yourself and the team that takes you out maybe choose somebody on that team and actually follow them around because I, I would do that and i just want to see especially if they were a really good team i would want to see what they were doing and how um they kind of chose what to do to come and take our base out were they actually good um or was it like luck and i think a lot of the time i was able to sit here and see how they built their bases see if they upgraded their summoners and see if they went for diamond or emeralds and actually got armor, things like that. I, you know, like it's so incredible to sit here and think of all the opportunities that you have once you realize that the opportunities exist. So I didn't have that at all. And I really feel like going and spectating gave me that. Being able to sit here and see even this, this might actually help you because it's like a way of spectating what's going on. So seeing your team and seeing what's going on within the team, seeing my strategies, um, check out other people who have, um, you know, games that they're sitting here randomly playing and see how they are... Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's so silly um so yeah so 
I feel like watching these strategies is so helpful. And, oh, lag. It's okay. I wasn't, I didn't have enough to actually get to the island anyway. But, um, so yeah, I just feel like there are so many opportunities to watch some teams on either YouTube or Spectate and then get those skills that you feel are missing. Um, so if you see a team that just constantly wins um, and they they just beat you and then you have the opportunity to spectate, then I suggest you do it. Some of the most amazing players that I've met, I would sit there and spectate them all day if I could because they are absolutely incredible and their techniques are things that I wouldn't have realized that you could even do, much less actually come up with them myself. And so I hope that this helps you understand that there are a lot of things that we can do on our own trying to figure out how to do certain, um, you know, oh, that is really weird. Like, cover that base. You just did all that, and I just walked up to it and hit it. Um, but, yeah, so there are so many things that you can sit here and strategize um, once you actually realize they exist. So there were so many things, like I said, that I did not even realize existed. So once I did, I was like, okay, that makes more sense. Um, I'm hoping that this absolutely helps. I'm going to go ahead and close this video after this game. And then I will sit here and probably take a nap because I'm super sleepy. Um, but then I will wake up stronger, better than ever. I will be alert and I will sit here and grind and go and find an epic game so I can sit here and have my epic battle. Hopefully I will be able to go ahead and coordinate and have our uh, one, two, three, four top leaderboard player games and squads. And um, I, I hope you guys come along with me. Um, I know I sound so tired, but it is because I am. So um, I'm going to shout out Cloud Won't Die. He came into one of my games and he asked me, do I ever sleep? Yes, I do sleep. I goofed around and I said, no, I'll sleep when I die, which is absolutely true. I will, ha I will take the big plunge. Once I die, I will sleep forever. But um, right now I'm going to take a nap. I'm not actually going to sleep for a full eight hours or anything like that. I just need a little boost. So I'm going to go ahead and take a nap, get some Z's, some quick Z's, and then come back better, stronger than ever, more alert than ever. And then I'm going to try to sit here and have tons of epic games with all of my amazing players and then sit here and go around in solo squads, solo duos, solo trios, and solo solos and see if I can find some amazing players just randomly. Um, I'm not looking for anybody in particular. I'm just looking for some skills and... If I can find them, then I will definitely record, get those up for you guys to see. And I hope that I see you out here in the game. Um, it's incredibly fun, like I've always said. And I love the fact that you guys are responding so well to all of the crazy stuff that I end up getting myself into. Um, all of my team members, I'm so glad that you guys are, are sitting here responding well. I, you know, <laughs> starting something like this, you never know how people are going to react, but you guys have welcomed me with open arms and I feel absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to keep on going down this journey and I can't wait for you guys to sit here and see what amazing things we kind of get into and the amazing skills and talents of all the players that we get to sit here and um, play with. So okay guys I hope you enjoyed this amazing set of games even though they weren't super challenging. I still had tons of fun. I loved playing with my friends and I hope you guys understand that every game that you play gives you the opportunity to learn some more skills and that you take advantage of that. And don't worry if you lose the game. You always have next time. And remember, don't be toxic. Be something greater. Wait. Oh, I can't even remember what the thing is.
Don't be a hater. Be something greater. Until next time, I'll see you in the game. Bye!